Hello friends and what a joy it is to be able to come back to you today to share with you a ray of hope by way of coffee and conversation. A great way to get a new day started, a fresh cup of hot coffee. Well, we looked at verse number one of Psalm 22 yesterday and we talked about feeling forsaken. Today I want us to look at verse number two and I've titled our devotion, What's in a Cup? In Psalm 22, verse 2, the Bible says, O my God, I cry in the daytime, but thou hearest not, and in the night season, uh, and am not silent. My friends, how many times have we prayed and thought that God didn't hear our prayer because it seemed our prayer had not been answered? The Lord Jesus Christ prayed to the Father while he was in the garden of Gethsemane. In Matthew 26, 39, if you look at that verse of Scripture, you'll find that he went a little farther into the garden, fell down on his face, and prayed. And in his prayer, he said, Father, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as thou wilt. In verse 42, he prayed again and asked God to take the cup away from him. In verse number 44, he prayed a third time and asked God to let the cup pass from him. And now, you know, as I begin to think about this passage of Scripture uh, and the Lord uh, saying that he is praying here in verse 2, I cry in the daytime and you hearest not, I'm sure that Jesus felt that way. But as I begin to look at Matthew uh, 26, the thought come to mind, what's in this cup? Well, my friend, I believe that our sins is in the cup, and it's a load to bear. And that's why I believe that the Lord God turned his back uh, for the first time ever on his son because he couldn't look upon that sin. He had had to destroy it. But yet he allowed Jesus to bear our sins in his own body. Let's think about for just a moment uh, some of the things that could have been in the cup. Well, self-sufficient, self-righteousness could have been in the cup. Robbing God of his glory and trying to make it our glory is in the cup. Greediness is in the cup. Laziness is in the cup. Gluttonous is in the cup. Slandering is in the cup. Gossip is in the cup. Lying is in the cup. Con being conceited is in the cup. Being ungrateful is in the cup. Being a cruel adulterer is in the cup. Practicing any sexual immorality is in the cup. Exchanging the truth of God for a lie is in the cup. Worshiping the creature more than the creator is in the cup. Filling our heart with perverse pleasure is in the cup. Hating your brother is in the cup. Murdering your brother is in the cup. Abortion is in the cup. Oppressing the poor is in the cup. Uh, persecuting God's people is in the cup. Loving money and prestige and honor more than loving God is in the cup. And we could go on and on and on and talk about the sins that's in the cup, envy and rage and bitterness and unforgiveness and all of these other things are in the cup. Having a razor tongue and lashing out and criticizing in sinful judgment is in the cup. Oh, my friend, we could go on and on and on and list those things that are in the cup. You know, as I begin to think about this, it's all right to pray the same thing more than once. Jesus did. We should realize that if we are truly followers of Christ, though, that we with Jesus must say, not my will, O Lord, but thine be done. Pray with me. Father, today, help us, Lord, to continue to pray even whenever our prayer doesn't seem to be answered in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day in the Lord. Let others see Jesus in you. Your life may be the only Bible that some will ever read. Let others see Jesus.